Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of TV30. Today we will be speaking about the institution that has served our nation island for the longest, an institution that is 170 years this year. My name is Natalie Jolie Fanis and I'll be your host for today and I'm proud to say I'm also an alumna of the St. Joseph's Convent. And with me today is the principal of St. Joseph's Convent, Sister Rufina Donat, as well as one of the members of the board of SJC, Mrs. Michelle Anthony Daisy. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. And thank you so much for sharing information with the nation um, on an institution that has served for so long and done so much. Let's, let's start, Sister. I'm going to start with you. Give context for those who don't know about St. Joseph's Convent. Um, tell us a little bit about the history of this institution. Okay, when we speak about St. Joseph's Convent, we talk about 170 years. We cannot speak about St. Joseph's Convent without speaking about the sisters of St. Joseph of, of Cluny. Yes. And they're the ones who came to St. Lucia. It, it was established. Um, they had written agreement by the by the um, administrator at the church administrator at the time to to run the schools so they uh, that was established in 1854 mm -hmm. and the location the first location was the Ave Maria grounds where the Ave Maria grounds are located in uh, 1850, 1959 a fire destroyed the um, the building mm -hmm. And so the sisters had to relocate to the to Mon Fortune in an apartment given to them there, and then the the site we are um, we are on presently, that site was already being looked at for relocation. So it just hastened the process. So in 1961, through the assistance of past um, the students themselves, um, that time was pick a brick. Pick a break, um, they assisted, and the sisters themselves, they were able to um, erect the site that we use right now. Wow. Even then, in 1984, in 1984, as yes, one year just before I entered, in 1984, the sisters looking at education, wanting to extend again for more students to attend the St. Convent. In 1984, they built their own home, the lower down, and so yeah. allowed for more um, students to enter the school by extending to um, additional form because it <laughs> was to be a three form school so mm -hmm. now we are four forms so when we look at as i say when we look at um, the history when we talk about sgc we must talk about the sisters of saint joseph of Cluny. because of the sisters of saint joseph of Cluny, we have saint joseph's convent and saint joseph's convent is um for many people it's not just saint lucia we belong, we are part of a province of the West mm -hmm. Indies. So we have schools in Grenada, in Trinidad, and St. Vincent. Are, are these schools all around the same age? No. Trinidad would be one of the oldest schools. Okay. Trinidad um, would be about 180. Um, two, about two years ago, um, Port of Spain Convent celebrated their 175 years. Okay. Yes. And, and I know you're building up to that. We are building to 175. So we're starting with 170. We mm -hmm. wanted to, by the time we get to 175, which is going to be an overflow. And, and you, you, you <laughs> speak of locating at, um, at Cedars Road, where you now are. Yes. Did you say about 1960, roughly? About 1961. About 1960. Yes, 1961. You know, um, yes. we don't want to show our age, but um, <laughs> I think Michelle and I would remember that, what we call the new block, Maybe where the sisters lived before? Yes. Because we probably entered around that time. I remember. That is correct. Yeah, just that, that, that AV room. The 84, being, right. Being added yeah, at that yes, time. She don't say that. Don't repeat the year. <laughs> the AV room you was know. added in 84, uh, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and yes. look at how far ahead that, that you are. Look where we are with technology. For you yes. to recognize the importance of, of having an audiovisual room at that time, time yes. where it could be used in instruction for other activities. Activities, that is quite significant. Yes. The sisters always had a vision mm -hmm. because when the school was built, it was built with three labs. Wow. Three labs, biology, chemistry, and physics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at the 60s there eh, when you're looking at education. We're talking wow. about STEM education now. Mm -hmm. But from then, they had that vision. And it was not just the academics. It was... Um, holistic development. So the arts were introduced from the time they were at the Ave Maria location. Um, Sister Columba, they, um, Sister Columba introduced 
theater arts um, to, to the school, music. It was, at that time, the, um, it was at a level that, um, where they were able to raise funds. I, in one of the um, history um, writings um, by Claudia Thomas, where they were able to raise funds for, um, a, for hurricane victims in Jamaica. Mm. So it was, um, Sister Columba, was, she was an arts person, the music, everything. So the school was always known, not just for academics, but for the arts. The sports came in a little later. Okay, and, and as you speak of that, um, I really want to bring Michelle in here to speak to the significance, given you know that you probably understand the generations that have gone through SGC and the kind of impact speak to the significance to St. Lucia and the wider world um, of SGC. We're speaking about 170 years of educating women in St. Lucia. And these are women or girls who have gone on to become women and who have contributed not only locally, regionally, but on the international stage. I mean, now with the advent of social media, we're able to follow the adventures of a lot of our girls as they move out into the wider world. And you see the impact that they're making on the world stage, um, you know, in terms of science, math, and a number of other areas. So the impact of St. Joseph's Convent cannot be understated. Um, it is really a legacy that has been built and one of the aims of this year's 170th celebrations is to continue building on that legacy um, as we move towards 175. Because St. Joseph's Convent has become established as a forerunner in the education of women on the island. Mm -hmm. Certainly, certainly. And that speaks to, I, was, I, want, I want to bring that up, the number of generations that 170 years can cover. Yeah. And I think possibly with your, your family, if you could well, speak to that. Well, in my case, it's three generations. My mother, who is a former chief education officer, um, attended St. Joseph's Convent, as did I. And now my daughter is in fourth form at St. Joseph's Convent. And I'm sure that we have other families where we probably have more generations Definitely. who've gone through the doors of the school. Yes, so, so significant in, in, in so many different ways. And um, sister, I, I hope as we come out with this, I mean, we alluded to our year. We, we recognize that just recently in, in, a, in a virtual space, how we were able to bring so many girls from across the world together. Um, and we, we had the, the house rivalry. <laughs> um, but I think we're looking to, yes, I heard you mention your historian, Claudia Thomas. Dare I say that she's also from our year group. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> just for this, uh, we are dominating class of, of 89. This is the one time I'm proud to show. Um, so yes, we, we, we want to see what each year group can bring to this. Oh, yes. Um, so sister, well, I want to engage you in terms of um, leading up, the plans leading up to this. I know you have alumni involved, you have your board involved, you have the current crop of students. Um, tell us what the process has been thus far. Okay. One of the things we're looking at, because SGC is also part of the spiritual, we also look at the spiritual aspect and mm -hmm. we always begin with, with church, prayers, mass. So looking at, um, looking at this, um, act, um, the activities, the school has decided and we're starting off, although there's a, a group made up of a number of past pupils from different year groups, and Michelle is part of that group also, but I want to speak from SJC. Mm -hmm. We are looking at um, the big opening with a mass at the cathedral on the 24th at 10 a.m. Why 10 a.m.? We want to get the students, we want the students to be part of it, very much a part of it, as much as would like to have the past pupils there, their parents, the um, wider society. So we are looking at this time and so that it can be effective. We can have an impact on, uh, on, on persons at that time of day. So we're looking at the various groups, the uniform groups at the school. We want to come down. We want to march down to the cathedral oh, wow. with our flags. And we want it to be a, a great event. So the past people are going to be part, uh, are going to form the choir for the day. They had a rehearsals last right. evening. <laughs> on Sunday via Zoom. <laughs> well, that is another story. Make it happen. But we're going to have the face-to-face -to -face tomorrow, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, that's the 16th. Tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. at the school. And we want to invite all singers. We, I don't want to call names right now, but they are there. 
they know they're singing, they're in the spotlight, and we want them to also be part of that choir. So we want the choir to be pastors of, of the different years, not those who those who have been in the choir, but those who are not in the choir and can sing. Oh, I thought you were talking about those in the choir. Because, because we have a rich tradition of a, an of SGC choir. choir. Yes. Oh, you had to be, for my time, it was Sister Claire. Yes. Um, I understand that you, you took over the choir. Yes, as, that's as a challenge. As principal as well. <laughs> I remember being petrified during um, <laughs> singing, singing, singing classes. And, singing yes. classes, and being yes. graded by Sister Claire. Oh my, and you had to do the solos. She'll call upon you at yes. the time. Yeah, luckily for me, I was part of the choir. So the intimidation was a little bit less because yes. we interacted with her on that level. Yes. But the choir has had a significant impact at SGC as Absolutely. well. So it's really great to see. So you're bringing in alumni to right. be the choir to be for the choir the for the opening the opening mass okay yes. that is very very significant yes um so i i understand we, we're going to go back to the activities but just in terms of that kind of involvement michelle maybe you can come in in terms of the kinds of contributions that you're having from alumni um from from parents from the board itself in terms of the planning okay. the pr committee which has been established is a committee with um, alumni, alumni from various year groups. Mm -hmm. um, the entire planning of the activities for the 170th is under the chairmanship of Pauline Wolf, mm -hmm. um, who is from class of 1979. They, that particular class of 79 yeah, have been very, very active. Mm -hmm. They have events on a regular basis. They organize cruises. So one of the things that they're doing for this year for this um, year's celebration is they're organizing a cruise from Florida down mm -hmm. to St. Lucia. Um, and I understand it's already heavily subscribed. Wow. Yes. They, they, they do have a, cru a bit of a, a cruising um, <laughs> attachment to cruising. Yes. Um, and um, so Pauline has put this committee together and they have been working hard behind the scenes. They've launched Instagram accounts, they've launched us on Facebook, and they are pushing some of the activities. And we're going to see in the coming weeks more and more of those activities in, in, in the social media forum. And obviously, we have all of the other social media um, accounts which are uh, affiliated to the school. Mm -hmm. So I think we're looking to see how we can bring all of these together with the same material. We want to get the SJC girls, the Smurfettes, as they call themselves, excited as the, as excited as they were when we did virtual sports and when i say we you know there were a core group of ladies yes. who were involved in that mm -hmm. and some of them are also involved in the pr aspect so they've been working very hard and diligently behind the scenes and we will be adding to the roster of activities that the school has planned and uh, some of these activities will perhaps come on later in the year um, we do have a proposed gala plan for the month of july and there will be more information given about that in due course. Okay, great. So you've started with the key to get the word out, out. that, that yes. we yes. are celebrating. Um, so the PR committee is functioning and you're saying that it is from different year yes. groups. And we're yes. now trying to encourage each year group to appoint someone who will be their spokesperson who we can liaise with. So if that hasn't already been done, we're hoping that from this activity <laughs> that we will be able to encourage them and get the excitement going um, because there's so much more that we can do. In addition to some of the other activities, some of the activities that have been planned, a very heavy component of that is going to be given back. Um, oh, so these activities are being put together as we speak. Um, and we're hoping that I think in the next month or so that we can indicate what some of these additional activities will be. Okay, great. So we have to take a quick break, but okay. when we come back, we're going to speak about each of the activities, give it some focus, give it some hype so we okay. get people ready for the celebration of 170 years of the St. Joseph's Convent. You are watching TV30 with SJC, principal, board member, and alumna. Please stay with us. We will be right back. Suicidal thoughts, like other mental health challenges, can affect anyone. It can be you, your colleague, family member, or neighbor. Everyone has a role to play in preventing suicide. Know the warning signs. If you or someone you know is in crisis or emotional distress, call the suicide hotline at 203 Remember, help is available. This is a message from the Employee Assistance Program, Department of the Public Service. Contact us at 
or 468-2260. Welcome back to a special edition of TV30. We are here speaking about the St. Joseph's Convent and Institution that has been around for 170 years. And joining me on alumna, Natalie Judy Fanis, is Sister Rufina Dunat, who is the principal, and Mrs. Michelle Anthony Daisy, who is a board member of the SGC. And in our first segment, we ran through a little bit of the background, gave you a little history of the convent and what has led up to the planning of the activities. And now we're going to hit the ground running to engage you and ensure the participation because this is not just for current students it's for everyone who has been impacted by SJC so we're going to start talking about our activities now sister I know you give us a sense of you have to start with prayer we oh, know yes. that <laughs> but once again let us talk about the opening activity for the celebration of 170 years okay so we spoke about the opening mass which takes place on the 24th of um, January at 10 a.m. We want to begin with uh, the students marching down to the, um, to the cathedral. Mm -hmm. And we are seeking, we have already written for permission um, for the route. We are looking at the police band. We also mm -hmm. wrote for permission so that the band could lead the students into, we wanted a grand affair. We wanted to be big, extra, extra. extra. <laughs> extra. So we want everybody to be there. Use your lunch hour. Use your lunch hour to be there. You know, at the same time, um, yesterday, Father said people take time off for funerals. You, you just, got, every possible has got to be there. So we want to encourage everybody to be there. Bring your white flag, bring your blue flag, wear your blue and white. It's a sea it's of blue, blue on that day. So all the uniform groups will be coming down with their banners. So mm. we want it to be grand. It's a grand opening. Wow. And in the middle of the day, everything is going to be And great. that is at the Minor Basilica. The Minor Basilica, the Minor Conception. Conception. At 10 a.m. on the 24th. I am wondering if there'll be space for what the population of SGC is about 500, <laughs> no? <laughs> Roughly? <laughs> Estimate? Let us not go there. Um, we will find space we will there. Find must be space, space in God's house. <laughs> yes, and, I, and I, can, I can already feel the excitement. And just with the talk of the choir, yes. um, I, I can hear the hosannas going up. <laughs> Um, in praise of yes. 170 years. Yes. So that is, is the first activity. Yes. And I heard you mention Pablo. Will he be officiating? Um, the bishop will be the one officiating. Even grander. And Pablo will be there. Yes, yes. 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 Will so you there. see the significance. We have the head of our church in St. Yes. Lucia yes. officiating, as well as a priest who has been affiliated with the convent for oh, yes. a very long time. Yes. When I went back for my daughter's, I think, was it graduation mm -hmm. or something? Was and Pablo was yes. there. And I'm like, Pablo is still mm -hmm. with SJC. Yes. So that, that too is, is significant. And you see, there's always a connection with, um, with SJC and St. Mary's College because um, Pablo relates that in his time, they did some, the St. Mary's College did some classes at St. Joseph's mm -hmm. Convent. They had a debating club and they also had the Legion of Mary. So they all, we're the ones who've broken that connection. I'm just hoping that with the 170 leading to 175, we can. Reignite, reignite that reignite, connection. Yes, reignite yes. that connection. And, and the boys are always asking, you know, for them to be connected. Yes. When we tried a reunion, they were like, but you left us out. And I'm like, Correct. but you can go to the convent. <laughs> um, yes. So, yes, so, so that is important. Um, yes. Especially as an all-girls school, the connection is always good for them to understand mm -hmm. that you have pairs that, yes. you know, are of the... So I'm, I'm hoping to see that happen. And it's important for the students to see the past students' involvement mm -hmm. and see them giving back and seeing the pride that they feel yes. being part of the SJC family. Definitely. So we want them to experience that. That sounds good. Yes. So that is how we open. Yes. What is the next grand activity on the agenda? The battle relay. <laughs> <laughs> the battle relay is going to... Um, it is, we want to look at it from the Ave Maria School where we're looking at generations. We're looking at we um, the, the decades of um, past pupils. So we are looking at that battle relay coming from starting with Ave Maria, looking at different year groups carrying that battle. Mm. So we are asking the different year groups to send in their representatives to call the school and give the name of their representative, who they want to carry to represent them. They can have their cheerleaders. So it is a house thing going to be wow. a house activity oh you love that rivalry oh yes oh yes that's where the energy comes Natalie mm -hmm. that's where you feel the energy and 
So we are looking at it and all the way people will have their house colors. You're going to have the, um, the flags in house colors. And we are going to get up to the school where it's going to be. That is going to be the big thing. The big celebration. celebration. The big celebration where okay. we're going to have our, we're going, we're going to have our formal speeches. The formal um, launch, launch. Yes, oh, of the activity great. right there. What, what, uh, has that been dated? It is. It mm -hmm. is the 15th of February. 15th of February. So yeah. we are hyping so that our sports. So it is on the 15th and we have our school sports on the 23rd. Mm -hmm. So the energy oh. will be there. Transferred. Yes. So you're giving people sufficient time to get the day off. Yes, we oh can yes. plan oh and yes. seek the day off yes. from, from our employers. So the battle relay. The battle relay is at 3.30. 3.30. Oh, at 3 30. Okay. So we're not going to take too much time from work. So from, <laughs> from the Ave Maria grounds yes. to the SJC grounds. To the grounds. SJC grounds, okay. yes. That's a, a nice little distance and covering the decades. The wow. decades. We're looking well, at as the many decades. decades as I guess we can, we we can, can get to. Yes, we can yeah. get. So we're looking at house captains too, mm -hmm. games captains, you know. Let them come show their faces, yes. All right. So, battle relay to officially launch the activities. Right. All right. What do we move to next? Michelle, I don't know if um, you want to jump in here. Let's see. I think on March 8th, we planned SJC in the city. Mm -hmm. And that is supposed to be a showcase of the students' artwork, culinary arts, um, all of their various clubs and other activities, along with cultural performances. The plan is to use the Derek Walter Square, to have parents and students and obviously any member of the public or past students who want to participate and be involved. And that is an activity which would start at about 9.30, um, I think 10 a.m. in the morning down mm -hmm. to the end of the school day at 2.30. Yes. So it's a whole day activity. And um, students and teachers would walk from SJC down to the Derek Walcott Square um, to commence the day's activities. That is also International Women's Day, right? right? So the Correct. significance of that yes. day. Yes. Every year, we, um, for the past five years, we have been marking International Women's Day. Um, students, um, entrepreneurs, we give them that opportunity to showcase their work. Mm -hmm. And it's getting bigger every year. Um, the students, um, they do their cakes, um, decorating, they do crochet, they do um, jewelry. So it's always an opportunity for them to showcase what they do. Mm -hmm. In the past, we invited um, women in, in the industry, entrepreneurs, but we are realizing <laughs> that our students oh, are just, yes. we, they are big on it. So what the counselor did was to get them trained by Belfond, by um, they were they were trained and into how to budget, how to prepare, how to present, and it went very well last year. So we said, no, we're going to bring it down to town. Going to be SGC in the city. Oh wow! Yes. Would would um, alumni who are entrepreneurs get an opportunity to exhibit as well? Oh sure. If they're yes, I guess we in this welcome space them. as yes, we, we get them. as we get through. Yes. Um, I don't want the time to pass up on us. So that that's three activities down thus far. Yes. And and very very significant and really bringing out the the talents and just the the very um, engine of the of the the, the institution. Yes. So I think that's important. What what else do we do we have that we need? To, it's an entire year of activities. Um, yes. We're looking at half. the service mm -hmm. part. Um, mm -hmm. Michelle mentioned it that we want to give service. So on the 18th, that's the day before the feast. Mm -hmm. We want to have our school mass as we normally do. Um, that will be at the school itself. But afterwards, we want, um, with the assistance of parents, to go out and feed and feed the homeless on the streets of Castries, Constitution mm -hmm. Park, the markets. We're looking at schools also um, that need that assistance and. This is what we want to do to give back in that way. Yeah, yeah so that has mm -hmm. always been one of one of yes, the. The school has a very rich tradition yes. of giving back. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Christmas Good Turn, and during the year there are a number of other activities which are always are always geared at giving back because that is something that is really I think you know brought home mm -hmm. and that we encourage with the students. Okay, excellent, excellent. So activity number four. Activity number four is the crazy one. <laughs> it's called the motorcade, the island-wide motorcade. With the, uh, we're looking at the entire school. We have not received permission, so it is it's from the authorities. It's plan. Yes, 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 it's, it's part plan. of the plan. Would like some of the children don't get that opportunity. Normally, there is a holiday 
for us on the 19th to mark the feast. Mm -hmm. But we want, because of the 170th anniversary, we want to take the children out. Beautiful. So we want parents, we want past students to all be part of that motorway. Wow. Natalie, this is going to, if it's happening, that's going to be that's going to be great. You know what I like about this? That yes. the, the, the students, who, people who attend SJC, come from all around the island. Right, yes. And I think that motorcade will be an ideal opportunity to reach out to all of these communities and, and allow them to represent yes. um, as, as SJC goes through. That's so what we're looking at, where you have an SJC um, child or past student, you put a flag yes. in your window. And you will get So as get we go around. along, we're going to cheer you on as we go along. <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> yes, you put I, a flag I think in your window. You need to work to get permission for this system. Oh, yes. They need to see the importance of it. Too. Right. Because SJC, although it is situated, physically located oh. in the capital, it, its impact is island wide. And island -wide. I think it would be a great thing to be yes. able to take SJC out to all communities. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Our time yes. is going quickly. Any other um, significant oh. activity we want to, to discuss? May 4th. Um, 7 a.m. There's a proposed family fun walk on sports, mm -hmm. um, walking from I think Courts Marisol to Courts Pigeon Marisol Island. To Pigeon and Island. once again, I think Sister would be encouraging the house spirit there, wearing your house colors, <laughs> um, bringing family, bringing friends. Um, so that's one of the other things that have been planned. Um, parents, staff, students, past students, and um, in July we also have. Proposed uh, proposal for the school gala, which I mentioned earlier, okay. and more details will follow on that because that is still obviously in the works. Okay, so great. So one of the things I want to ensure that we do as we leave is, if an SJC student is watching this this broadcast and they want to know how to reach out, how can they contribute? To, how do they contact either the planning committee, the, the can school? Call the school. Um, we have the four five two two seven seven eight. It's always available. We have, school. we have the Instagram page, we have the Facebook page, reach out through your year group. Um, you know, we really want the year groups to come on board because mm -hmm. I think there's so much more that we can do with those kind of numbers. Do you know the Instagram handle of hand? Possibly, oh or um, if, if they search, if they search, and it's also yes. on uh, the school's um, Instagram page. page. Okay, but we want to remind them of rehearsal on Tuesday. Check the pages, all past pupils. If you have yes. a voice, come on and sing. It's SJC come 170 Legacy. Yes. All right. SJC 170 mm -hmm. Legacy. Like and follow. Correct. All <laughs> alumnus of, of, of SJC. Yes. Um, so great. So this is how they reach out. Um, we have just about one minute left. Mm -hmm. And I know we said about reaching out. Is there any opportunity or are there any opportunities for new ideas to come in from possibly different year groups? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we know that there are a number of year groups who may be celebrating anniversaries in 2024. So we're also asking them to notify us of what their activities are and whether you know, these activities could form part of the um, agenda for, for this year. A great this way to end. Inclusion of all year groups. You have been watching TV 30 as we begin the celebrations for 170 years of St. Joseph's Convent. I thank principal, yes. Sister Rufina Donat, and member of the board, Michelle Daisy Anthony, Anthony Daisy, for joining us here with all of that information. And like we said, get on the social media pages, like and follow, and keep in touch. We at the service January 24th, which is a short time from now, 10 a.m. See you then. Thank you. Thank you.